Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's a parade Come of on. lovelies on the show today. Hello, yes. Angie Fenton. Hello, Rachel Platt. Hello, Terry Miners. I would say watch all tripping hazards <laughs> with Angie back there. <laughs> well, both of you look might, nice and bright here for a Wednesday. Uh, I'm Terry Miners. Good to see you. And it is a great day. It is December 9th, and it is a special 50th birthday. <laughs> Fifty years ago today, December 9th, 1965, WHAS 11 and its network first aired at Charlie Brown Christmas. And today we're celebrating with a cake. And we're going to tell you about a special peanut celebration here on Christmas Eve. Look at that uh, cake. Yeah, that's a cake. And, and Snoopy spins on that cake. We'll have to get to that in a minute. It's rare that I get to share the uh, couch with, a, with another person here. But I no. almost sat on Snoopy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we'll talk more about that fancy cake, that fanciful cake. And a big thank you to the woman who baked that for us. Uh, that wasn't an easy feat, I'm sure. And we're starting here because, look, oh. this is the most elaborate cake. So we have big thank yous today. Are you going to do your little song? Or my dance. Christmas time. Oh, Christmas. Oh, sure, I can do that. For <laughs> Christmas. Except you have to turn your head up. <laughs> Christmas time is here. <laughs> Happiness. Oh, and ah, cheer. Those simple words have been part of our holiday celebrations for exactly 50 years. Uh, Charlie Brown Christmas first aired on this date 50 years ago. If you were watching WHAS 11 then, you would have seen it here. Our station aired the holiday favorite again just last week. So WHAS 11 editor, Charlie Brown expert, Joe Federley, thought it deserved a celebration. So Joe and his mother, Edna, brought us a cake today. She made it. There's Joe delivering hey. it this morning. And Edna is, is just a whiz and whatever in the kitchen anyway. But she made this cake, and it is absolutely beautiful. Well, I mean, yeah, it's pretty intricate, too. Snoopy. All the different components on her. Yeah, this, these spinning Snoopy, I have to be careful so I don't knock them off. I've done that twice already. But all morning. of the characters, the figurines, and then to keep the peanuts theme, it is peanut icing. Oh, good call it, on it, that put one. Put your nose down there and get a whiff. <laughs> no, I mean, really, you can smell the peanuts and the coconut. It, it was is well gorgeous. Done. And I don't know if you noticed at the beginning of our show, but we ran the intro to the original Charlie Brown show that mm -hmm. aired 50 years ago, and it had a sponsorship on it. And which I didn't they, even notice. They took it away to watch. Because it had a sponsor, they took this away after the first couple of years. It aired this way the first few times. Watch. Look at that. Ah. Hello. I'm so used to sponsorships, I don't pay attention. Right, yeah. but that was that was kind of groundbreaking back then that Charles Schulz allowed a commercial sponsorship within what his artwork was, and then it became a big push-pull because they said, well, uh, Linus's message is, let's get back to the real message of Christmas without all the commercialization, and they well, said, you know, let's take that in out its of purest that. of form, then that would make sense. Yeah. Good for him for that. And then the music, we've had Steve Cruz on, who always plays right. a lot of the, the music, Peanuts music, Vince Guaraldi, a name he said, you know, and, and it brings in all sorts of classical music and everything Oh, else. I got a good spin. You did get a good spin. I'm <laughs> shocked that Snoopy didn't fall over. Edna, thank you very you are, much. You are so awesome, she Edna. Rocks. We appreciate it, and we'll... we'll have a good time with us today. One I know, more No, we spin. should be. I don't know that I can name. Uh, I that's see Marcy. Linus. Uh, no, red hair. Lucy. No, that's uh, peppermint patty. Peppermint patty. There you okay. go. Thanks. Sorry about that. And then wait, the little blonde up. Wait, I got to see who I can't. Uh, see. Sally. Sally. All right, that's we were Charlie, making sure we knew Charlie everybody. Charlie Brown's little sister. Thank you, Edna. Linus is over here with this little blonde. There's your, there's your Charlie Brown um, uh, trivia from the past. And now. the one who plays the piano. Why can I not Schroeder. think? Schroeder. Schroeder. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> It's been you, 50 years, are folks. Are you losing your mind? My brain is leaving me. On Christmas Eve, ABC and WHAS 11 will run It's Your 50th Christmas, Charlie Brown. That starts at 8 p.m. right here on WHAS 11. I think that's cool that they're going to do one more Charlie Brown special. Well, who wore polka dots? Because we said Oh, there the polka she is. Dots. There's the little crank. That's how <laughs> I feel. <laughs> that's me with all of you all yelling at me today. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm just like Lucy. All right, we have had the kind of weather that would bring about a happy dance from Charlie Brown. <laughs> like that. I just saw the Peanuts movie know, with my family. I set him up for this, Ben, and I'm sorry. I'll mm -hmm. just take a small slice, okay? I the, know. With it the little smells side ice wonderful. Cream. Come on, dance. Do your Charlie Brown dance. <laughs> Not happening, Terry. Here's a look outside. Uh -oh. Let's just get to the weather, shall we? Watch out. <laughs> get him out of there. 
mostly cloudy conditions. Uh, golf weather this weekend. That's why Terry's so giddy out there.